Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie Wicks, and welcome to Too Much Christmas, where you get basically everything Christmas everywhere all the time is going to be also jolly and merry and also a bit horrifying because can you have too much Christmas? You could. Now, I'm going to start with this, this miniature gingerbread house, which I just built from day 21 of the Lego Friends Advent Calendar. So this is a perfect start to our whole too much Christmas build, but it's, well, it's only one thing. So we've got a lot of Christmas to do. Now, to stop the Christmas spirit, let's have a character to live in whatever we create. And I hope she likes Christmas. Now, we've got a couple of options of tops here that are really, really totally Christmas. And I think the sweater for this particular girl is going to be just magnificent. It goes beautifully with her red skirt and her red tights and her black boots. Now, she could wear the Santa hat. So let's choose some, uh, yeah, a head with green eyes, because green and red for Christmas, and the Santa hat. Let's put it on her. Now, even though she has no hair, it could be tucked up in the hat. She looks adorable. <laughs> but when she's got the Santa hat off, she's actually got bright red hair, because we are going with lots of bright for our Christmas girl. Now, what are we gonna call her? You guys gave me so many suggestions. I was gonna go with Mary for Merry Christmas, but you guys went Noel or Carol for Christmas Carol or Ivy. There are so many options, but overwhelmingly, you guys voted for Holly. So Holly, she is my thing. It suits her so Christmassy well. <laughs> but I'm not done yet. It's Christmas, so we've got to share in the Christmas joy. So let's make another character with this top. So adorable. This is gonna be Mrs. Claus. <laughs> She's gonna be so cute. And she is going to hang out in the Too Much Christmas. I mean, who would be more perfect than Mrs. Claus? And we'll save this Santa Claus. Well, the Santa clap, this Santa cap hat for later. We got our two characters. We've got a miniature gingerbread house. We've made a start. So let's get some base plates. This little spot here is where I'm putting the Christmas tree and I need that there. So I make sure I put it in exactly the right spot. Otherwise this will all go awry and we don't want things to go awry on Christmas because that would be sad. Now, Let's put a bit of a wall in here at the back and we are going to make it so, so sparkly with these new sparkly pink blocks that I have alternating with the purple. I just can't use them enough. <laughs> Tell me when you get sick of them. <laughs> no, don't, because I'll still use them anyway. We'll put some nice big transparent pieces along the top to let the light in, because there's nothing better than a bright light coming in on Christmas Day. It just makes everything happier. Now, here in this spot in the middle, I want to make a festive Christmas wreath. And we are going to make this ex as extravagant as we possibly can in this small space. So uh, we are going to put all of these leaves on them, like all of these leaves. So on the bottom layer, I'm using the light green and I'm putting some little green flowers on the top for more festive spirit. And do you remember that we now also have these leaves in the dark green? So I'm alternating them, which is so awesome because you can have too much of just one color of green. It's nice to be able to mix it up a bit. And I'm going to put just a bit of color on the dark green ones. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And then some holly, just like Holly's name, some holly in the middle. And that is a wonderful centerpiece for our window. Now I need this up here to be able to actually attach it. And that's lovely. That's festive and merry and bright. That sounds like a song. <laughs> it might be a song, it probably is a song. Okay, now down here, I'm gonna have a big corner table, massive corner table where we're going to put all of the Christmas treats and the Christmas foods and the Christmas feasting. So it needs to be big, so big that it goes all the way around the corner. And I've missed a spot here in this corner, so let's fill that. That's perfect, and there's a bit of dirt on there. Let's get rid of the dirt. We need everything squeaky and bright and clean, ready for Christmas. Now, I'm gonna make a green tablecloth, kind of, or a tabletop. It's gonna, it's going to alternate as a tablecloth. And this is going to need to be big enough Big enough to hold all of our yummy, yummy foods that we're going to put on it. And the guests will be able to just come around here and take what they what they want to eat. Or, or we could just display stuff here. In fact, I want to display the gingerbread house here, but I can't center it because it's on a th like three by three. So to center it, I'm going to need to use one of these little jumper studs. That's perfect, that works nicely. And cause I wanna put some something else on either side, I'm putting some more little green jumper studs on the side. 
And now it is centered so beautifully underneath the wreath. That's actually quite hard to say, underneath the wreath. Now on either side of the gingerbread house, we're having teeny tiny marzipan Christmas trees. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> I love that. Now, I haven't finished with my decorations. It uh, but let's build a few more things. Let's move this out of the way and let's build some things to actually put on our table. So I would like some candles, a beautiful display of white candles. We're going to use these gold leaves because they are perfect for this, perfect to frame the candles, display them, just make them look extra special special for Christmas. So I want a tall one here and I want a little one down here. This stud's got a hole in it so that I can put the candle on it. And that's, that is just lovely. Now let's get some food happening. I want to have some Christmas mints, some peppermints, and these are so pretty that I want to display them in a jar. So I've got this jar with the sparkles. So festive. <laughs> and let's put them in here with a little pink one just to break it all up. And now we've got a jar of Christmas mints and uh, we're going to put it on a little pedestal so that it just looks ever so adorable. Now Christmas turkey, not much I can do with this, comes ready built except we can rip its legs off <laughs> but we don't want to do that yet, not till people are ready to eat it. I do not know how you stick that down on the table so I'll figure that out later. What else? Uh, this, this, this delicious bread, sweet bread kind of thing that's going on the Christmas table too, like a Danish pastry yum thing. What else do we need for Christmas? We need a plum pudding. Very, very important that we have a plum pudding. So plum puddings are super easy to build <laughs> in Lego. They take less time to build in Lego than they take to actually bake. But you can't eat the Lego ones, which is sad. Now I'm going to put this in a gold, oh, gold plate because it just looks extra fancy like that. It doesn't sit ever so well. And I just wanted to raise it up a little bit. We'll see how that goes when we put it on the tabletop. And some cookies, some gingerbread cookies. We've got a star, gingerbread star here. And this one here's got some jam in the middle. And I don't know that I want to fit another cookie in there. So we've got some cookies too. Right now, let's move all the food out of the way. <laughs> just scrape it across the floor. It'll be okay. And let's put our candles over here. I think we've got quite a few display pieces here on this table, but this is too much Christmas, people. We need to remember that this is going to get ridiculous. It's going to look overblown and not classy at all. This is going to just look like there's too much stuff here. Now, I cannot fit this on a plate. I don't want to just shove the turkey on the table, even though I've just shoved it on the floor. Let's put it on a nice, shiny white tray here. <gasps> lovely. That's lovely. Let's put our plum pudding back here, I think. It's displayed beautifully. Is it going to be a problem if the plum pudding's touching the turkey? <laughs> just asking for a friend. Uh, and we're going to put the cookies in here in the front and that leaves I think just enough room to put this on the end to put our pastry on the end now that is just so cluttered at the back here I'm going to build a little support uh, turkeys on the floor again don't tell anyone Shh. at least the dog hasn't <laughs> the dog hasn't licked it so <laughs> it could always be worse I will pick it up off the floor and no one will know see perfect lovely all right okay so over here I want to build a fireplace a beautiful, warm, festive fireplace. If I use the word festive too much, I think I might have. But before I actually put the fireplace in, we need to fill in a bit more of this wall. <laughs> so, done that. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> this bit of the wall is not important to me because the fireplace is important. And we need to make sure that there's spaces on here for more decorations and stockings to hang on and a nice, cheery, warm fire for Santa to come down into. Why? Actually, that I, I never understand, <laughs> understand how that works. It's going to be very toasty for Santa, but it doesn't seem to worry him at all. It's magical. Magical Santa. Now, let's make some nice warm toasty fire for Santa. This one's got a hole in it, this little top stud. This one also has a hole in it so that we can put the flames in it. And that, fl that flyer, that flyer is blazing. Flyer, fire is blazing. Flyer is bazing. Hmm. I'm having trouble with my words now, and I have not been drinking any eggnog either, so it's just basically too excited about building too much Christmas. Let's make this go up a little bit higher. I'm using these transparent black pieces at the back just to add some light through here, and let's keep going. We need an overhang 
So this is the mantelpiece above the fireplace. This is where we're going to put the stockings. And let's just add a little bit more to the top. And then I want to make another big Christmassy showpiece to go up here on top of the fireplace. Well, on the mantelpiece. So this, we're going to use these two little doves. And they're going to be little peace doves. They're going to have their beaks touching. So I need this piece here. It's going to be a three again, which is going to make it really hard to center it on the mantelpiece, but I'll figure it out as we go along. Let's put some some beautiful Christmas evergreens for them to actually be perching on. Some olive branches, maybe. Uh, <laughs> let's put another one out here, though olive foliage is kind of a, a, a dusty green, so this isn't really olive branch at all. Look at that. It's Christmas evergreen. It's so perfect. And they've got a little bit of holly in front of them or some mistletoe. And I told you I wasn't going to be able to center them up here. So I'm going to need to put a jumper stud on a plate up here again. There we go. That way we can center it. And let's smooth off some of these spots here. So it's a lovely shiny wood mantelpiece. And we'll put some more of these transparent black pieces behind because it just looks really nice and it lets the light in. And now... Now we can put some Christmas stockings uh, in front of the fireplace. Now these Christmas stockings have come directly from the Lego gingerbread house that was actually released this year because they're perfect. And this little white piece, which has the studs in two different directions, is so perfect. So it, <laughs> I don't have any more of these. So I had to take these ones straight from the gingerbread house. And they come in pairs, obviously, because they're stockings or socks, which always come in pairs. And one would be lonely without the other. There we go. One for Holly and one for Mrs. Claus. <laughs> so, so cute. All right, let's keep going up the top here and we'll line up these pink pieces and we just have to make sure we get them all to the same height. Now, I want another big piece of evergreen up here, framing our doves. So a big Christmas evergreeny thing, thing with lots of bright colors in it. So let me see what angles I need to put these on to fit them into the space. I think that would be a really nice shape. I might put them down a little bit lower. And then if I put these gems in, it'll just make them really sparkly and bright. Merry and bright. Put a red one here. I'm just using all the colors because this is too much Christmas. And we're using all the colors because we need everything to be, as I said, merry and bright and festive. <laughs> and too much Christmassy. <laughs> Have we got enough in here? I could actually put gems in all of the holes here, but I won't. I will restrain myself and I will go and I will see if this is going to fit above the mantelpiece and whether the doves are going to like having it around them. So if I put it up there, yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to need some little outward facing studs, frontward facing studs to be able to actually suspend this up here on the wall. And look at that. I just need to make sure this one goes out a bit further because it's actually sitting further forward than the other one. And it's perfect. It's sitting there so nicely. How's our too much Christmas bill going? <laughs> Let's fill in this little bit of the wall over here. And then we can start making sure that we put this, uh, the whole wall along the back that we secure it nicely. And then we can start Christmas off. Christmasifying up the rest of the place. Making up words everywhere today. <laughs> Lots of pink along here. And I need to make sure that everything is, yep, everything is tied in together so that our wall is nice and secure. There's no wobbly bits of wall that are going to suddenly fall down on me. That's lovely. It's so good. It's, we're ready now. We need a comfy chair, the coziest chair for in front of the fireplace. And this one is going to be the comfiest and the most cozy chair of them all because it is Christmas time and chairs are more comfy and cozy at Christmas time than they are at any other time of the year. It's a scientific fact. Um, I think I've put this together wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've just put it round. That needs to be at the front. So the smooth bit needs to be at the front. And there we go. Good. We're good now, everything's good. Let's put some little golden feet on our chair and we need some more mint at the back and some gold pieces just to break up all of the blue. And then we need to round it over with some little comfy, cozy armchair thingamabobs. What do you call them? Like armrests, armrests and backrests. <laughs> Got it, it's perfect. Let's put it over here, except it's, I don't want it just kind of floating on the base plate. So I'm going to put some yeah, that's lovely. Let's put some smooth pieces down so it's got a bit of a platform to sit on. There we go. We can angle it right there close to the fireplace. Now, we've been waiting for this moment. It's Christmas tree time. And I have a Christmas tree 
already built for you because this Christmas tree actually came from the Lego gingerbread house and I have wired it up. I have put power in it. Look, there's cords all the way through it so that when I plug it into a power pack and turn it on, it is going to light up. <laughs> and this is going to be the centerpiece of our too much Christmas bill. There's even a light coming through here up to the Christmas star. So this is going to be interesting. Here's our power pack. We're currently not actually connected up. There's our little cord. So we've got we've got lots and lots and lots of little strings there, which is a bit messy at the back. And we need to just kind of try and hide the cords. So we're going to make them go out the window. We'll see how that works. And let's plug in the power. These are just the tiniest little power plugs that <laughs> they're so small and even harder to do when you're trying to do them in front of a camera. But there we go. I've got it. And yes, it works. All right. I'm not going to turn it on properly yet because I want to put it all up in situ, make sure that it is in the right place and then we'll turn it on and see how it looks. Now, I'd love to be able to hide this big like power board here. Maybe if I blue tack it or sticky tack it to the back of the Christmas tree, maybe that will just kind of keep it out of the way. And oh, no, hold on. Uh, now the panels are falling off. I don't think, and that, yeah, okay. So the sticky tack's not, it's not actually holding very well onto the smooth Lego. We might try, we might just try hiding it. We'll turn these on. We'll see what we can do as we go along. But isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I don't know that I'm overselling it. I think it's gorgeous. I've actually changed the, the color of the studs on these because they were all yellow originally, but I've put blue and pink and green and red and orange so that it's it's sparkling all different colors and they flash and I love it so much. <laughs> all right, I need to try and I need to try and hide these to hide these cords because they're just kind of they don't look so great down the bottom. So my plan is to hide them with a bazillion tea presents because this is too much Christmas and this is the first present. It's one of those big stuffed baby reindeer. <laughs> Have you seen those sort of things in the shop? I think it perfectly works. <laughs> and I'm going to try and put him, I'm going to use the stud just to make sure that he is, he doesn't like fly everywhere all over the base plate. These presents we can actually stack. I'm not going to build these ones for you because these are all presents I've built before in previous builds over previous Christmases. Um, they're pretty easy to build so but if you want me to show you how to build Christmas presents I'll do that in another video or just check out some of my other Christmas videos There's lots of them and there are lots of different ways to build the presents But they're all kind of basically the same and I need to put a bazillion tea of these in here Did you hear that? I've just dropped the foliage down the evergreen is oh, it's down again These tweezers are very useful. You need big long tweezers when you're building Lego. It's helpful to get stuff out now we're going to stack some more presents because I mentioned a bazillion tea. We might actually go for a gazillion, a gazillion presents. Otherwise, it wouldn't be too much Christmas. It would just be a little bit of Christmas. Yeah, I'm never going to get to that many. But we're going to see if I can put as many presents that I can fit around the Christmas tree down here to try and hide these cords and also to make it look ridiculously extravagant because this is supposed to be too much Christmas. Now, where am I going to put... This one, we're going to just snuggle this one in under the branches of the Christmas tree and a nice pink one here at the front. These little tan studs are so useful for securing things to the base plate. Now, I don't know how I'm going to secure this heart shaped one. And there's going to be a teddy down here, too, because of course there is. Uh, but now I need to figure out how I'm going to we might use the teddy to help snuggle that little heart shaped box in and if we put another yeah if we put another present in front then uh, yeah then this is going to hold it all in quite nicely and now we can just put a couple more in and it's not quite a gazillion t billion jillion but it's close I reckon it's close and over here we've got one that's already been opened because that happens off <laughs> Christmas the president accidentally in inverted commas gets opened so that's this one over here with the pop-up penguin it's really cute so how's our Christmas tree looking this is looking pretty full let's turn the lights off for now because we've got more to do we are not finished yet we need a little coffee table to put 
our our things for Santa when Santa comes and he's very exhausted from all of the jobs he's been doing and we need to give him some treats. So let's put a plate over here for the treats and this cup with the dunk me on it. He can dunk, he can dunk his cookies in there. Isn't that just the sweetest cup? And don't forget the reindeers, gotta have a carrot for a reindeer. So I'm using this miniature, uh, this miniature style of carrot and now we need some cookies. Keep dropping this gingerbread on the floor. Shh, don't tell Santa. <laughs> I want to get cold for Christmas. We got some other cookies which have not been on the floor. So those ones are okay now. Let's see where we can fit this in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, I think, I think Holly will still be able to sit in that chair. It's not too snug. There we go. Yes, it is. Okay, so there's, it is snug because we want snug, but there's enough room for her to fit in there nicely. Oh, and we can't have Christmas without an overly festive doormat. Welcome, ho, ho, home. Let's just put it here. That's a nice spot. <laughs> and you may have noticed there's a Santa hat in the background and a festive Christmassy mat in the foreground as well. But you didn't miss much. I forgot to video those ones. <laughs> let's put the light on and let's see how it all looks. Are we too much Christmassy yet? Well, I love it with the lights off. I've pretty much filled up this space, but I reckon we can go more. I think we're going to have to go up. So we're going to call this Too Much Christmas and tomorrow there will be more. There will be more Too Much Christmas. It's going to be Too Much Christmas. Oh my goodness. That's a terrible title. How about Too Much More Merry Christmas Ho Ho Ho. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't actually title it. Maybe you guys could come up with a title for Too Much More Christmas. I think we decided, yes, yes, we decided that we were going to go up and to go up I want to use this piece specifically because it's got a hole in the middle and that way the Christmas tree can poke through up the top see now I can have that super tall Christmas tree in here and I can have a second level as well now I'm gonna need some support here so we've already got enough support at the back I think so in the front <laughs> I'm gonna see whether a single I'll just turn these lights off whether a single pole will be supportive enough <laughs> for a short <laughs> short term too much Christmas build now we're going to make this we're going to make it look kind of like tinsel is wrapped around it in red and white with green fluffy bits in between and I think I need to, um yeah I think that'll be the right height now this is not just gonna be a pole it's going to be our Christmas card holder look <laughs> do you recognize this Christmas card design? The one with a little peaky reindeer face. I wonder where I got that from. And this one here with the Christmas tree on it is lovely too. <laughs> and I've got one more, which you might have noticed me wearing this exact same nail sticker last week, I think. So, but they make the perfect, just cutest little Christmas card designs, which we can hang here up the pole and that's going to just decorate our pole a little bit more because it's going to look a bit yeah no it doesn't look a bit anything it's going to be perfect now right let's start on the next level and we've got this big hole in the middle so we're going to put some balcony things out there and we're going to hang the first of our lights out here now I've already made these lights beforehand I've used them in quite a few different builds and they're pretty much just the same as all of those but you can alternate the colors if you want uh, I'm going to put I just want them to hang a little bit when we actually hang this up we'll put this up on the second level and I'm going to use this clip to just make it sit nicely that should sit that should sit okay. We might have to fiddle with it a little bit, pull it a bit further forward on each side, fiddle with it a bit when we actually put it up on the second level when we finish building this. So we'll put some pink on the top so it looks kind of like, <laughs> it looks kind of like candy over here now. Right, this is important. There's got to be a little girl who's sleeping on Christmas Eve. So I only have a limited number of toddler outfits. So this is what she's just going to have to wear. But she does have a sleeping face because if she's not sleeping, Santa's not going to come. <laughs> she looks so cute. And because it's Christmas Eve and she's asleep on Christmas Eve and she's got her purple teddy bear, we're going to call her Eve. Isn't that perfect? I think that's perfect. And Sleeping Eve is obviously going to need a bed to be tucked into. So let's build her one of those hinged beds that you can actually pop her into and tuck her under the covers. And this one is going to be purple and yeah, purple and blue and white because these colors will go quite nicely together, I think. 
and I need the hinge to face out this way and these are the hinges so these are going to have I've got she well she has got a bedspread with sparkly Christmas lights on it <laughs> see too much Christmas have we reached Christmas max yet I don't think so a Christmassy bedspread is the least amount of Christmas that we could have possibly added to her bedroom so here's her bed let's tuck her in oh no her hair I love this hair but it it's it's gonna make her sit out too far oh I really really want to use this cute little hairstyle for her oh no it's coming off completely all right I think that's a sign I think we're going to have to change Eve's hair over but look how adorable she looks in there oh I can't use this hair I am so sad and it's Christmas but I'm happy again now because we have other hair options <laughs> you should never get sad about hair hair is changeable okay so she's tucked in with her purple teddy and she really really looks cute and ready for Santa to come so let's make her a bedroom just a teeny tiny bedroom because not a lot of space we're gonna have to extend it a bit we're going to make this the simplest quickest bedroom ever and we're going to extend it out here a bit just so that it's not too close to the front and if we I'll have to take her out so that I can press this down on the base plate and the base plate of the bed is going to hold these two plates or the three plates that are there all together nice and securely so it's going to hang off the back but it'll be it'll be secure and Teddy's tucked back in and everybody's happy okay uh, let's move these out of the way because I can't really see what I'm doing so let's extend the walls a bit and we'll just extend this as a teeny tiny room with <laughs> too much pink. <laughs> this is not too much pink build, but we want to we want to make this a bit of a stereotypical girls' bedroom. So we'll put our nice big pink walls here, and along the top, I'm going to use some cute little pennants. And I think that just shows you perfectly that this is a little girl's room and that she's ready for Christmas. And on the side table, we're going to put some Christmas decorations. So she's going to have a snow globe because this is perfect for a snow globe. But <laughs> to make something small enough to go in here that's actually recognizable is really hard. So this, this is a snowman. Did you know that was a snowman? It's totally a snowman. Look, it's a snowman. Who could mistake that for anything else? I actually wanted to put one of the round pieces, like the little, little, uh, little, ball shaped ones but it doesn't fit with other things and on the other side we're going to have a miniature miniature Christmas tree her own little tiny Christmas tree on the bedside table I'm going to use a gold piece there so if I do that there we're going to need one on the other side for matches because <laughs> we don't want not matches there we go I think that that will do incredibly nicely now bedroom's done that's all we're gonna do it's just kind of a little token this is Christmas Eve and you're a sleep bedroom let's add some more stuff here I thought this foliage with the red and the green already looked Christmassy enough and we're gonna use that as a really nice big quick way to make an extension or the next part of this house and I can't really figure out which bits outside or inside oh I can because here we need to put a chimney we need to extend the fireplace up the chimney out the top of our build because chimneys are kind of important for this kind of build if you have a fireplace you are going to need somewhere for all that smoke to go so it needs to go up out the chimney we're going to build that up till it's yeah just high enough off our wall here lovely and now we need to tippy top this off and we just need to have the right ratio I think that will do nicely and we'll put some little black studs along here and then we will smooth off the top of the chimney <gasps> lovely I've got more plans for this chimney though so we will come back to it soon let's uh let's make some snowy caps or just some kind of snowy snowy overhangs for the front of our wall piece here our windowy wall piece and we'll use these angled pieces along that's gonna work nicely because <laughs> we need to kind of make this look like look like a big upstairs area of the house but it is but it isn't really it's not going to be overly functional I'm just gonna move everything along a little bit more and then we'll line it with pink because that matches what we did downstairs okay more Christmas lights because this is the outside of the outside of the lights the outside of the house and I wonder if I've left the middle empty so that we could hook it up again but maybe we could put like a Maybe we could put a special ornament on here. Maybe this is going to be too much. Doesn't matter because this is the 
too much Christmas build. So if we hook this on here, is this going to be too heavy and just ridiculous? It is kind of ridiculous. So let's add another star <laughs> to our Christmas icicle star. And if I turn... Oh, oh, hold on. I'm missing a piece on this side. So if I put this on there and if I actually... It's hanging just a little bit low. So if I actually just turn these top side stud bits, it's going to winch it up a little bit, but we want it just a little bit lower. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous, but it's awesome. So this is too much Christmas. Now, these three windows are just begging for gingerbread people. So I've got three gingerbread, <laughs> gingerbread people. We'll put them, oh, she can't see because of the star. Oh, there's not much we can do about that. So we'll just know she's there. We've got three different gingerbread peoples. <laughs> and that's just a little bit creepy having them smiling at us out of those windows. And over here we're going to put Olaf, but not, because this is going to be a snowman. We're just going to change the face out and put, <laughs> put, put, put a Christmas hat on him. All right, I think we might have too much christmas it. I think it's pretty good, but I'm not done yet, because this chimney, we're going to bring Sven in to be the reindeer, the Christmas reindeer, and we need to build a sleigh for Mrs. Claus. Did you wonder what we were going to do with Mrs. Claus? She's just been hanging out all this time while well, she is going to be delivering presents with Sven. So we need to build her a sleigh. And this, this sleigh actually was from, let me think, from one of the Creator Expert Christmas sets from, I think, Santa's Workshop. So we're going to build this super duper quickly because I've already built it before on video. But it's, I've put a few little modifications into it so that we can actually sit a mini doll in it instead of a minifigure. But that's it. And, 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 no, I like. So we're going to modify it just a little bit more so that Sven can pull it all by himself. Because <laughs> he's alone. He's a lone reindeer. But, you know, with him and Mrs. Claus, they can totally get all of this done. All right, so this is where we're modifying it. We're going to put this chair back just a little bit and put one of these little feet holdery things at the front of the seat. And then Mrs. Claus can sit in there very comfortably. And I did not put this smooth bit in just the right spot. And I think it needs to be in the right spot because we're going to put crescent presents? Presents behind the, <laughs> behind the chair. I'm <laughs> losing the capacity to talk. Okay. Let's zoom on with the rest of this build because she needs a sleigh and then we are going to suspend it on the chimney. <laughs> I have so many plans, but we need to finish the sleigh first. So let's do that. Okay, we are up to some lamps, which Mrs. Claus is going to need because she doesn't have Rudolph to help light her way. But this is much more conventional and much more useful, I think. How are we going to attach Sven? Well, we're going to use one of these new pieces and let's see if I can get... No, that sits too high. Maybe if I put it underneath, let me see if that... Oh, it's almost good. <laughs> Sven's feet are just kind of a little bit off the ground in the front. But we've got presents in here and Mrs. Claus's Santa sack and Olaf's head. No, that's just creepy. <laughs> let's remove Olaf's head and let's take it up to the chimney and see if we can attach this on an angle and just a little bit of an angle. So let's remove what we just did. A bit counterproductive there, but sometimes you have to take things off to put them back on again. That makes no sense. So these hinge pieces here, if we put this here, that's going to hinge down just a little bit flat, but... But, 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 we can put it on, yeah, all right, so we're going to need to sit this up a little bit more to attach it onto the underneath securely, and that looks as though it's going to work nicely, but it's going to go down flat. So if we put this, if we put this onto here, onto the actual, yeah, onto our actual hinge there, that little rounded piece will just tip it up just enough so that it's on, it's only a tiny angle on the chimney, but it means that the sleigh and, and Sven are really, really angled. But it's perfect! We have too much Christmas to the top of this, and let's see if I can put it on without it all falling apart, because this is not my most substantial of builds. <laughs> Look at that sleigh just suspended there in the top! I'm so proud! That's hilarious. Okay, I should concentrate on making sure that all of these surfaces are attached properly. And that little 
little pole at the front actually just went into the right place. Oh, I'm thrilled because I was a bit worried about trying to attach that. Okay, look at that! Too much Christmas, two stories <laughs> with a sleigh on the top. Let's see if I can hang these a little bit further down. Yeah, I like that! I like that a lot. We'll add some more pink little studs and then I'll be happy. But you know what? Even though we have got a whole <laughs> sleigh and a reindeer at the top, you guys are going to ask me, where are the stairs? <laughs> so uh, we can add stairs. I think it looks fine without stairs. But you people who like things to be functional, we're going to need some stairs for you. So I am going to cater to everybody who feels the need to have stairs to get up to the second level. So we're going to need a double whammy of stairs here. We're going to need to add them, yeah, add them like this. And I think, let's see if that reaches the ground. This is not going to be overly stable though. But... It doesn't matter for a short time. We're going to need to add some more in here. And uh, yeah, this one here. Lovely. Just nobody pressed too hard in the middle of the stairs. And we've got another home sweet home. Another little Christmassy doormat for the bottom of the stairs. And we can even put a few little snow drifts, little snow drippy bits off the side of the stairs because these are outside. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough because I'm afraid I'm going to collapse the stairs. See, there we go. Now we have got stairs that can go up to the second level. I think that's, yeah, that's better. Just a little bit further in. And this is crammed with too much Christmas, but I'm not finished yet. In front of this pole, I want to put, I want to put a nutcracker. And this is the best that I could do <laughs> for a nutcracker. I'm hoping with the hat that this looks like a giant nutcracker or... <laughs> a tin soldier maybe whatever it is it's a life-sized Christmas mannequin yeah let's go with a the nutcracker there we go have we have we completed our too much Christmas well we have not because we need somewhere to eat this Christmas feast so let's make a table I cannot believe that we're still going so <laughs> I, I planned all of this stuff so it's all going in because this is way too much Christmas and we're going to have a yellow runner down the middle of the table festive brightness and as a centerpiece we've got the little oh yeah the little tree from the advent calendar this year but instead of the star I want to see if, if we shove this down in here yeah it does we can use one of the little wands as a different star on the top. I like the translucency of it, the fact that you can see through it and light comes through it. It looks much more festive. We've got some red placemats for, uh, for our delicious places to sit and eat. And we'll fill in the other parts of the table because the rest of the table is just this lovely wood table. The centerpiece with the runner and the red placemats are enough, I think, enough. And we are having... <laughs> I don't want to give it away yet. I think these probably give it a bit away. We're having cupcakes, but these are special cupcakes. These are plum pudding cupcakes. So individual servings of Christmassy plum pudding. That's what's set out at each person's <laughs> each person's plate. And we'll put maybe we'll put some pink ones on the top here just to mix it up a bit. Red one over here. Here's some I prepared earlier. These ones were baked a lot earlier. And it wouldn't be Christmas without some Christmas crackers. So let's make some Christmas crackers. This is the only technique piece I have. This yellow one in, in yellow. Everything else is grey or blue or black or boring. So, well, the blue would be okay, but it's the wrong sort of blue. We're going to use a different design, which doesn't quite work as well. But it works enough for our purposes. So now we've got a pink cracker with little white pretties on the ends. And we're going to do a blue one in the same in the same style because we need four of these, right? Because we've got four place settings. We don't want anybody to miss out. That would be catastrophe. Christmas spirit ruined. And this red one's got some gold embellishments on it. So I wonder who gets the fancy red one. That's actually if I pull this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if I pull this side out just a little bit, the little gem, that's a little bit more balanced. Okay, I should go back and do that with the others, but I won't do that right now. I'll do it later. So we've got our Christmas <laughs> Christmas table. Now we're just going to whack some chairs together. These are the chairs straight from, I think, Emma's house. Is it Emma's house? Tell me in the comments. I think it's Emma's house house's chairs, and they're just perfect. So they, they, they suit beautifully. 
is lovely. The Christmas table is all set. There are crackers. There are mini sized plum puddings. And I think that I have officially packed this with as much festivity and merriness as I can fit onto this many base plates. And of course we do have the sleigh and the reindeer precariously balanced on the top on the chimney. All right, too much Christmas has been achieved. I hope it made your day a little bit more merry and a little bit more bright. Let's check in on Eve and see if she's ready for Christmas. Oh, she is, bless her little heart. She is sound asleep, which means Christmas can happen any time now. I've been wanting to do this since the, since since the first day we opened the advent calendar. So I have got the advent calendar here. It is reasonably holy because we have opened 10 whole doors already, but I want to build the scene that is on here. That's actually pictured on the advent calendar to set all the little bits of the, like the little advent calendar builds up in it. Like just to, because I can't use this cardboard thing. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. It's a lovely idea, but I move everything around everywhere. It's just oh, useless for me. So this is what it looked like before I put all the holes in it by opening <laughs> up some of the doors. So I want to build some Something that looks basically like this. I mean, I'm not going to be able to replicate it exactly, but I want this to be the idea. So this is going to be my flooring because it's not even the right shade of brown, is it? But I don't have any base plates in that darker brown. So this is what we're going to do. We're just, and we're going to keep it as simple as we possibly can because it's all going to get blinged up anyway with the advent calendar bills. So here we have got the, that's going to be the floor space for the inside of the house. And on the other side here I reckon that'll be the snowy outside which is like that fold down fold out bit maybe that's the idea anyway so let's start with this and if I put this bit here to hold all these plates together this is going to be where the door is it's not quite centered but I have a reason for that the reason is this is where I want the door to be so got a nice dark blue door I'm not going to shy away from color I'm going to I'm going to color match a bit what's actually going on in the picture on the advent calendar as much as I can so here we go. All right. So we've got our doorstep, which is a bit higher than, no, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. And we're going to have a nice purple line all the way along the bottom, which is not what the picture has at all. So I've already gone off script, but you know, this is my build. <laughs> I can do what I want. Okay. Now on either side of the door, I'm going to use these Stephanie's house windows because they're so pretty and this is just all going to be really pretty and festive and colorful and yeah. Awesome, I hope. So these, if I use little pink awnings, though they're not hanging over the, no, this is just how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's just gonna be a facade. It's all like just a, an idea of a house. It's not an actual functional house. And here I'm gonna separate up the living area from the kitchen just with a little inny bit. That's it. <laughs> That's my idea. And there's gonna be a staircase going up here and a little hallway up the top just like in the picture so there's just I mean you don't we'll have doors but they won't go anywhere because it's just like I said it's a facade it's a facade it's a pretend uh okay so that should be I think the right height for where we've got our walls to and hopefully that staircase is enough out of the way that we can actually put things in here because we're gonna have a lot of little advent calendar things to put in I think that's good yeah, all right. Okay, so now we just need to, let's start building some walls up. And in the picture, the walls on downstairs are just, you know, whitey or creamy. Let's let's make them all nice and solid. Let's get these walls in. This one's got a little kind of poster on it. That'll work fine. Window underneath the stairs, otherwise it gets really dark under there. And keep building them up. And then I reckon one more layer. I like this little corner piece. That's going to add some Let's put that up here. Yeah, well, there we go. That's going to add just a little bit of bit of shape to the front rather than just making it really blocky. And on this side is where the kitchen's going to be. And the kitchen is going, yeah, I'm going to make the top half of the kitchen pink. So, all right, a little outward facing. Start to put some plants on the outside here. And yeah, so only half walls at the moment. And then, yeah, the rest of it's going to be pink. But this bit over here, this connector wall doesn't need to be pink. All right, okay, all right. So pink shelves and pink like a wallpapery top bit. And on the shelves we can put some of the spare stuff that comes with, like there's a bowl that came with the mixing, with the mix, with the mixer, and I'm sure there's some other spare stuff that we can put up here. And we can just put in some other random things that didn't come in the set too. We can, we can kit these shelves out nicely. So this is a corner shelf, little rounded corner shelf, pink all the way around. I mean, we've got lots of colors going on in here, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty and festive. <laughs> Okay, and on this shelf here we can put a teacup. Maybe, no, we can't because ah oh, the shelf's not deep enough. So oh god, okay, I've broken it, but that's okay. I can fix it because it is Lego. What have I done here? No, that's supposed to go. Yeah, back one brick. 
<laughs> shortest memory ever. So if I just build those shelves out a little bit, that's that'll work better. And it still looks fine. It doesn't look too weird. It doesn't look weird at all. What are we saying? It looks fine. Okay, <laughs> it's all just fine. And this bowl will fit quite nicely between those two studs on the rounded corner. And down here we're going to put a little wraparound kitchen. Uh, but some of the actual builds are kitchen like little kitchen bits, so I want to leave room for them. But anyway, we'll make, because the in the picture there are actually, there's an actual kitchen in it. So let's do that. Let's make it, let's make it a nice, simple kitchen. Going to be dark purple. We got dark brown bench tops, which we've got in the picture. It's not standing up properly. This is going to be the sink. Uh, yeah, I think that'll fit. Yep. And <laughs> I don't know why I keep trying to make it stand up. Because I'm optimistic. <laughs> I'm optimistic that I can get it to happen. Even after I've proven that it will not stand up time and time again. And this one can go around the corner, I think. We might be able to center it under the window. And those, yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't stand up. Okay, let's put them in. So this one will go in here. This goes under the window at the front. And then the other one will go over... You're not quite going to be able to see yeah, it's kind of it's centered under the window that looks nice it's not centered to my little indented wall bit but that's that's fine this is everything's fine it's all fine and this is going to go in the corner and nobody's really going to kind of see this but it's just filling up that space in here and then when we put the bench tops on and i'm just going to put brown bench tops on some smooth some with a little jumper studs on them so that we can put things on the bench but i'm not sure what sort of configuration i want with the jumper studs because i don't know what else is coming in the advent calendar we want to put those things on the actual bench top bench tops there that's good that's very pretty that, those colors actually look really nice together now this came out of one of the doors with the rolling pin and the cookies and this one's got the mixer so we could use them as kind of a central kitchen counter, but there's a bit, it's a bit long. So if we take the mixer off, or maybe if we just take the legs off the mixer stand and put that like as, as an addition to our counter over here, and I'm uh, struggling to get all this into this space, that's a bigger mixer than I anticipated trying to put in front of the window. And this one can then be the center, cent center, central central kitchen counter yeah that looks all right we've built it up higher with those extra pieces we put the chair behind it so that the the little lego friends can stand up there that's perfect that works really well but i want to move that chair in just one more one more stud <gasps> perfect this is so cute <laughs> and her kitchen hat no what do you call it a chef's hat we could pop it up here on the shelf or we could put it down here oh and on this little separating wall piece we can use the center piece that came in one of the doors too. That's so pretty. That's very, very pretty. All right, uh, taking the stairs out just for now because I want to tuck some things under it. We can put Emma's easel in underneath the stairs. <laughs> just throw that paint palette in. But if I put an extra stud in on the bottom of the easel, that'll attach it to the bottom. And that was a spare stud from one of the other advent calendar windows. Perfect, can put the stairs back in now. And oh, hanging down from under the window in the picture are some hearts, some little heart ornaments. So we're gonna do that too. I don't quite have the same colors as the picture, but you know, we're going to be creative and use what we have. And there's a lot of color happening here, but it's all so pretty. <laughs> It's making me very happy. Little heart ornaments. That's beautiful. Okay, now we need to think about the, the Christmas tree in the picture goes kind of central. So we'll put it there so there's still room to put other things around. But I might need to move the Christmas tree over. But for now, let's put all the extra presents in. Well, not the extra presents. The presents that came with the girls in under the tree. And then we can bring the girls in to to gather around the christmas tree oh we'll have five of them by the end of this well by the end of the advent calendar build okay all right so let's work on the outside on the snowy side so we'll build that out a bit and try and make it a little bit like look a bit like the picture <laughs> a bit like just a bit uh jumper studs to hold those plates together and then in front of the door is a nice little mat like a patchworky kind of mat so we'll do that with my different color brown squares we'll alternate the browns oh, hold on that's not alternated <laughs> there we go now we're alternated in a pebble path just heading up through the snow 
This is fun. This is so fun. It's a great way to spend Christmas break. And in front of the window ledges, we're going to have what remains of the garden. Well, the flowers and cover it over with just a little bit of snow. Little snow capped green bits. Because <laughs> I can't bear not having a bit of green in our garden. Even though I know that they're not going to last in the snow. And this piece that came in one of the doors. Oh, I want everything to be one more stud over. I didn't center the white bits, the snowy bits outside. Now it's centered. Now it's all centered to the door. Right, let's very, very swiftly move everything over. Everything has to move over one stud step. There. <laughs> Done. Done. Okay, and now that can sit over here. And we can maybe put the snowman, the remote control snowman out here, though he is electric, but I don't know. He can hang out out here. The snowboard can hang out out here. Oh, and if, yeah, broke this pink warnings, but I want to put some flowers out here with a bit of snowy on the top of them and a bit of uh, whitery <laughs> going down the wall. And the remote control, I think, we'll leave that inside the door, just inside the door, not out here in the snow. Now we can fix the awning which fell inside when I had to move everything. Nice. Now let's work up on the second level. And this is just like, it's not even a proper floor. It's just the like the hallway to the upstairs. So I'm only going to need a very thin amount of area up here because there's not we're not even going to put anything up here really. No, we are. We're going to we're going to try and put in the things that are in the picture like a bookcase and a decorative Christmas window. But there's not going to be any room to actually do stuff up here. That's not right. Let's move this. I don't need all that space. So if I put that one in a bit. Yeah, there we go. And then we can go along with the long pieces. And the, bit, the bits underneath are holding everything together. Nice. And it doesn't need to be really, really structural because it's, it's a very small surface. So door up here. The door to nowhere. Very dangerous. This, this bookcase came directly out of my doll's house build. So, you know, check that out if you didn't see how to build that. But I'm not going to build it again because I'm too lazy. It was just too perfect. I wanted a really skinny bookcase. So it goes in there. Going to be a window here. And maybe we could build that window in. So we can make it a little alcovey kind of window. An inset window. That's nice. And purple. So we got light purple. The colors on it are actually light purple on the window side and dark purple on the other side with with a brown and light purple stripe. So I'm going to try and replicate that because I think the colors look so pretty together. It really makes it interesting having different wallpapers up here. So light purple stripe along here and over here is just light purple. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, and put the bookcase back in. <laughs> And oh yeah, if we put these over the window, we've got space underneath it to hang some Christmas, yeah, some Christmas decorations, except it's really hard to do that. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got it on. So let's put in some green tinselly bits with some holly. The claws, thank you to uh, the Santa's to Santa's visit build because now I've got all these green claws that I can use for Christmas decorations. I promise I'll put them back on that house later, but I'm borrowing them for this one now. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. And over here, we need to just fill up our walls now. That's pretty much all that's going to go up here. There's not room for anything else. So yeah, light purple stripe, a brown stripe, another light purple stripe. And then we use brown here to hold everything in. All the way over to here. It's lovely. Very nice. And over on this side, I want to put a pic I like this picture up because it's kind of festive. It kind of looks like Christmassy something. And I want it to fill the space. So we'll put this picture over here in the corner. And then in the tiny spot down here, this plant pot, this Christmassy plant pot that once again I stole from Santa's visit from that set. Just stole it, just took it out. It's a very simple little build though, it's perfect. So let's line all the way along the top here with light purple tiles to hold everything in together. And now we just need some railings so people don't fall to their death. But before we do the railings, let's put in a very, very festive Christmas mat down here and line the stairs with some medium pink tiles so that they look kind of like they do in the picture. And yet all these colors, they're going so nicely together. All right, now for some railings. So this fence bit, fits perfectly there. This ladder is going, oh, I didn't even plan this. I thought I would have to fill it out with the little columny bits, but I can put another fencing bit there and this ladder will actually fill the rest of that perfectly. Oh my gosh, I love it when Lego fits together because it's supposed to. So if I put these little jumper studs here and put some claws on them with some clips on them, I should be able to clip that in. Have I got them in the right place for the 
for the rungs on the ladder? I do. Look at that. So we've now got some railings, really, really effective, easy railings. And Stephanie can stand up on that little high bit to peek over them. <laughs> okay, and we'll just line the top over here. Uh, the picture has got a chimney on it over here, but I'm not going to do that because I'm too lazy. <laughs> I can't figure out how to do it nice and quickly. So I love this exactly how it is. That's, oh, actually, no, it looks really funky on this side because we're just looking at the bottom level. We are not looking at the top level. I could put maybe a facade wall in front of these sections here and leave the window exposed. And that way we don't have a door to nowhere. But for now, for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, you know, pretend that we're just looking at the bottom level. <laughs> And the top level is simply for the other side, for viewing from the other side. Lovely. Okay. All right. So uh, what else have we got? Let's put a little picture over here just to fill this space up. We might be able to change that out with something else as we open up the advent calendar some more. So where are we going to put these stockings? Because they're just kind of at the moment hanging around. Not, not hanging, not literally. We want to hang them. If I I wonder if I can stick them through the railings. So if I use this and a little start on the bottom and a tap, if that's going to fit through, yes, it does fit through the railing. We can attach the stocking to that and then we can angle it a bit. So let's just hang the stockings up here for now. I mean, I know from the picture on the advent calendar that we actually get a fireplace later on so we can hang them off the fireplace. But for now, they're going to look really, really decorative hanging up here, <laughs> trying to get it through the railing. There we go. Hanging off the railing on the second story. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. You can't stand up there, Stephanie. No, I've broken everything. We'll fix it, though. Okay, back over here where you were. <laughs> Stop touching everything. <laughs> Fiddle fingers. Right, okay. Look, that is, that is so festive. I actually really, really love the second floor. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so we're up to door number 10 of the advent calendar. We have still got 14 more. We'll put this extra cookie on here. 14 more doors to open. So 14 more things to add to this build. I'm, I'm not certain what they are. I'm not certain where they're going to go, but hopefully we can fit them in. We might have to move some stuff around. It's exciting. Now we've got something to add. Ah, uh, yeah, to add our advent calendar builds too. So tomorrow, new door, new build. We'll add it to this. It's very exciting. Okay, can't wait to find out what it is. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. But now I need to figure out whether I have got, oh, yes, I do. I reckon I can fit it on the edge, but then I can't open the door because we've got this in the middle. All right, so we're going to need to do some rejiggering in my build here. If you miss seeing me build this little <laughs> a little scene here for putting our advent calendar bills in. Make sure you check it out because it's so cute. I'm <laughs> really pleased with how it turned out. The only problem is that I have to figure out how to uh, how to fit all the new things in as we go along. But that's, you know, I love a challenge. I like moving things around. So if we put these little feet on that, then the, the little... I could put the plate on here. No, I can't. Okay, so it's too big for that spot. So let's put the milk in the corner here because we currently have no fridge. <laughs> and if we swap this little plate out with one that's got the studs on the inside here, we can put the plate kind of overhanging the sink, which is not optimal. But, you know, things get a bit squished in the kitchen at Christmas. It's just how it, <laughs> how it happens. And if we put this back in, maybe one more over here. I reckon then we can still kind of open the oven door, kind of. Let's check. Yeah, look, enough. We can, that'll, that'll open enough that we can get the cookies out. No worries. <laughs> okay, so now we've got an oven in our kitchen and I forgot to put this on the pot, on the back on the uh, chair, so that's good. Okay, oh, might put another bowl over here. We got bowls everywhere. I need some more things for the shelving. <laughs> uh, maybe I could put the hat up here and stack the bowls. There we go. That's a bit better. Maybe I could put the cookies over there. Now let's just leave. Yeah, let's just leave everything the way it is at the moment. Uh, we could add that to the plate with the biscuits, but that would be icky. So let's not do that. Where are we going to put this? Can't put the puppy out in the cold. It's too cold out there. But we will put the dog house out the front. But let's put the puppy in here. And of course, if there is a new puppy in their house, everybody is going to gather around and go. There'll <laughs> be so much squeeing. Let's uh, let's move everybody in. New puppy. New little orange puppy. Oh, hold on. I've knocked Emma off. Sorry, Emma. It was the excitement. I'm glad you're okay. Okay, so we have got the girls gathered around <laughs> the entire the tiny little puppy just squeeing. And let's put this outside. We could put it on the other side over here. <laughs> That's so cute. And maybe if I move, uh, if I move the flowers, where am I going to put this bone? It's kind of nowhere to put the bone. If I move the flowers over, I can use... 
I can use that little jumper stud there for when the puppy goes out, goes goes outside or comes outside because it has to come outside to do its business. Important. And then, then yeah, it can pop on there. And look, we're going to put Olivia out here to supervise the puppy. <laughs> so the dog house is outside, but I don't think the dog's going to be going, you know, outside so much at the moment. It's too little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that is super duper cute. All right, I'll see you here tomorrow for door number 13. I wonder if we'll ever see the Lego friends as micro dolls again or whether this is just like a special exclusive for the advent calendar. It's so cool. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, so let's bring Andrea inside. Let's put her... Well, the other girls are still, like, excited about the puppy, but they're going to be super excited now to see Andrea's here. She's going to hang out near the Christmas tree, and we're going to put her stocking... Ooh, where? I didn't think this through. So up here, I don't know if I've got more room for more stockings. Oh, it's actually facing in, the different, in a different direction to the other stockings. Was that... Is, is that just the way I built it? Did I build it the wrong way around or am I just directionally challenged and I can just flip it and it would be fine? <laughs> I could just, I could change that. But I like the fact that it's actually going in a different direction. I don't have room up here to hang it. So we might just, we might just wait for the fireplace to turn up and hang it on there. In the meantime, we're just going to stash it in the kitchen because, you know, you always find odd things in the kitchen at Christmas time. All right. Okay. So where are we going to put this piano for singing, you know, sing along Christmas carols? Though the actual music on it is, um, when you wish upon a star. Yeah, so it's not Christmas carols, but that's fine. They can improvise. Let's put it over here in this spot. Or is this where I want to put the fireplace? I know there's a fireplace coming because I've seen it on the box, but I don't know whether I should just leave a space for it. But we'll put the piano here for now. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see. I mean, it's a bit tall, I think, this piano in the ratio with the micro dolls. Let's, uh, let's bring in... Yeah, let's bring in Andrea and see whether, yeah, maybe we needed a stool. I might have to build a stool for this. Maybe one of the other builds will come with a stool because that's a bit low. I was currently eyeballing the, <laughs> the keyboard height. Anyway, all right. Very, very cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Where are we going to put this in the house? So cat tree, I mean, the cat will go wherever the cat <laughs> dang well pleases but we'll put the tree over here I think so it can look like it can sit up on the cat tree and look out the window because they love doing that so let's move everyone out of the way this is so it's so hard to actually get my hand in here I'm retrofitting this house <laughs> it's hard to put stuff in after you've already got a whole heap of big stuff in too I think that's a good spot let's move the tree out of the way let why don't we just I might move the tree over I don't know should I move the tree like over just the tiniest bit it feels like it's kind of now in the way I'll move it back so we have a bit more room I don't know this tree's gonna need to be shoved around a bit I think <laughs> we got the cutest little cat the little kitten and maybe you know you know what happens when you put a cat and a Christmas tree together the cat ends up in the Christmas tree how can I do this because there's a star on the top I can't really stick the cat on top of the way that is. Maybe I could... Uh, I really want to put the kitty up here. Right, we're going to take the star out. The, <laughs> the kitten has knocked the star off. And now the cat is the star of the tree. As it should be. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put the star back in later. It's fine. The cat's just hanging out there for, a, you know, for a while. It's new. It's new. We indulge them. Okay. Oh, all right, so we have got everything you need for a cozy little time tucked up in front of the fireplace. Don't know quite where I'm going to put the book, but uh, yeah, we can, it, it kind of leans here against the cup. So where are we going to put this? Where are we going to have to move? We have, we need to move all of this detritus out of the way. And I don't really know, I mean, I wasn't able to plan where we're going to put all this stuff because I didn't know it was coming in all the doors. So we're just making it up as we go along. So we'll put it over here at the bottom of the stairs, I think. Near the Christmas tree. That kind of doesn't look as cozy as I like, though. We can move the kitty around. Uh, oh, will that do? I think it'll do. We can. Can I fit the book in? No, I can't fit the book in. <laughs> I've just knocked over the side table. Uh, if I move this forward a little bit, then I can just kind of. Oh, if I open it up, I can prop it like that. So it's open and it looks like she's reading it. Perfect. And the kitten can hang out there, too. Oh my gosh. All right. That's exactly what I planned. I didn't plan that. So that worked out really, really nicely. All right. Oh, never mind. I'm going to stop trying to explain because I think I've just broken this. So that's the hat, the hat with a star on it, I think. And yeah, that's really cute. And they are most definitely <laughs> the size of the micro dolls. So 
five. I don't know how much room we've got inside. Let's make these outside the front door display. I think that would look really cool. So I can put them on either side of the door. Oh no, hold on, that green bit of foliage is in the way of her tutu. Uh, oh, if I just swap over the characters, that should be okay because the soldier's got like, yeah, not got a tutu to get in the way of that green bit. And then I can put her over here and I've knocked off the wind up bit. Okay, all right. Yeah, look at that! Oh my gosh, that looks so good! Okay, so this is for us to hang our stockings on. Where am I going to put it inside? I did not think this through. So maybe where the piano is? Maybe over... I mean, this seems like the logical place, which means I need to move a whole heap of other stuff to, uh, to fit the piano back in. So this could go, yeah, here? Maybe? Maybe we could put it over here to separate up. Just moving the Christmas tree out of the way. <laughs> it doesn't want to be moved. <laughs> Let's move a whole heap of things out of the way. So we could, we'll put the piano in the corner. Yeah, so we move the easel out of the way. Piano goes in the corner under the stairs. The easel can go over here next to the front door. I think that'll still be, I think there'll still be enough room there. Excellent, that's still decorative. And then we can now put the fireplace over Oh, what are we going to do with this easel? I want to put this easel... Oh, maybe I could put the fireplace over... Oh, no, no, no. We, it's got to go here. I just... It can't go... It just can't go anywhere else. But I feel as though I wish that the wall had was in just a little bit further. But, you know, it'll do. It looks nice. The Christmas tree can hang out here at the bottom of the stairs. Put the easel back in. Exactly where I had it before. And now we can hang up the stockings. So we'll rip them off the uh, railing upstairs. And then we... Oh, hold on. We're only really going to be able to fit four of them on here. Really? Like, because those studs, you can't put them side by side. That's a bit... Uh, that's right. We're just going to leave some of them hanging up on the railing. So yeah, okay. Let's get everything else back in here that I've just pulled out. And then... Uh, <laughs> I'm just breaking everything. This is not... Trying to retrofit something after you've built it is not... It's not, it, it, it's still fun. It's still fun. It's just not, it would have been better if I had planned this. Which is part of the adventure, right? We just make it up as we go along. We're going to put this this dog here because it doesn't sit in the chair. Let's put him underneath the tree because he's so cute. Okay, nice. All right. So, Mia, now you can come in, hang out with the other girls. They have been, yeah, they've been waiting. It's been a long wait. So let's put you here under the tree, put your present under the tree and put your stocking in. Let's put it up here because there really is no room in the fireplace. Seriously. The fireplace only holds four stockings. Why? Am I just like angling them the wrong way? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's get, I mean, Mia was the last one to come in here, so she gets to go on this, because she's missed out on, go, like, so many goes and all the other stuff. So she can go down the slope. That actually works really quite, <laughs> quite nicely. <laughs> it's very cute for a mini build. Oh, okay, let's put this outside. Where are we going to put this slope? I feel as though I'm, it's getting a bit cluttered out here in the front. Maybe I need to take the path away. Maybe I should just move these flowers, pop it over here. No, I don't like that. It obscures the doghouse. So let's put it on the other side because we've already got like a snowy pile on the other side anyway. So we'll move the flowers over here and put that on there. Nice. Yeah, okay. And then she can slide straight down onto the onto the path. Face first. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> we'll get the rest of them out here. Well, some of the rest of them. I don't think they don't all want to come out because it's super cold out here and I can't fit Andrea on that little spot anyway. So she can hang out here. They all look a little bit stiff there without, we, we can't pose them at all, but they can stare at us cutely. That's basically their primary function is to look cute, right? These micro dolls. Okay, now we need to put this here somewhere. Where are we going to put it? Maybe just on this side? I think, I think that's probably the most, yeah, sensible place for it to go, but it's so cluttered out the front here now. Where am I going to put this sled? Maybe if I kind of move everybody around a bit so they don't all look like they're congregating in one spot. It's a bit busy though. It's certainly, I mean, it's busy because they're having lots of fun and there are lots of activities out the front. That's why, right? 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 That's right. And cake is important. These are a lovely mix of colours for a cake. So no Christmas pudding. Yeah, maybe it's a trifle. So then it would be in a bowl, wouldn't it? But it kind of looks trifly coloured. I like trifle. <laughs> Do you like trifle? I like trifle. A lot of people don't like trifle. I don't understand that. You know, soggy cake, cream, fruit, mm, custard. Mm, what's not to like? 
<laughs> okay, so um, where am I going to put this? I mean, we could put it just in front of the kitchen where you would generally have a kitchen table. That looks weird there. So we might try and put it sideways here. Just kind of looks a bit exposed. It doesn't really fit in with the rest of the decor. Even the colours of the placemats don't kind of fit in. But anyway, we'll put it here. Yeah. Look, that'll do. And it separates up the kitchen from the lounge room. And I've tried to break the mixer while we're doing this. Uh, maybe I could move this middle counter over to the side because there's a bit of space there. And then we could move the table into the kitchen and that might look just a little bit less kind of exposed. It looks weird where it is. So let's put this here and put the poor old mixer back over here on the bench. And if I put it there, I think that looks better. I do. I think that looks better. That's better. And then maybe I could move... Maybe I want to, I don't know. Let's leave it alone and find out what happens tomorrow with the next thing. I want to move the Christmas tree over a bit, but maybe I don't. Oh, that's cool. That looks really great. <laughs> I get so excited. Okay, and one more, one more little skate on. Straighten it up, otherwise it's not going to go straight. It won't be a straight skate. And then we've got some extra pieces. Once again, that angle, angle piece as an extra is a bit strange, but that's okay. I'll take it. Let's put this... Oh, hold on. Was I supposed to put the angle bit right on the back? No, I'm not going to. We could, we could actually, like, everybody can go for a ride on it if I don't do that. So this can go out in the outside. Does it? No, it doesn't connect to that because that's not how you connect stuff. Okay. All right. Well, I suspect then we are going to see something tomorrow that goes with that little hook on the back or that the hook is red herring and has nothing to do with anything. So I will see you back here for Christmas Eve. Last door of the calendar. Oh, be here. Don't miss out. Or, you know, just check in at some stage. Line them all up so that they're straight, going straight forward. Lovely. And then, then we just put, how do we, okay, these are the extra pieces. So, oh, that's why the present has got the little red jumpery stud bit on the bottom, because that goes on here and then you can pop it off. Pop the present off nice and easily. And then it sits just a little bit proud of this little present down here. And then the teddy can sit on the front. And then we hook it up to the other little bit. Oh, that's, that's really cute. <laughs> we take it for a ride around our house and deliver the presents to the Christmas tree. This is the day we've all been waiting for. Well, the day before the day we've all been waiting for. Looks like Christmas has come early for the Lego Friends micro dolls. Well, not, no, not really, because the presents have been delivered, but they're not allowed to open them. Sorry, Andre, she's fallen over again. Let's move everybody out of the way so we can get this Christmas tree properly all filled up with presents. I'm just trying to move them over so that they... I could put that on top of that. That looks weird. We'll chuck the, chuck the teddy in here and present back here. Teddy does not want to sit like angling cutely on the side. There we there we go. Trying to get my the book in here under the tree too. Because you've got to get a book for, like, for a present. It's the law. I, you know. <laughs> I think so. And we put this one on top here. We're, that looks better. That looks much better. Okay, where are you going to stand, Stephanie? Out here. Lovely. <laughs> it's all doing really well. Let's put the cookies out. Uh, and where are we going to put our cup of milk? There's no room on this table. We'll just put it on the floor. That's okay. No one will kick that over. It's perfectly safe there. And we can put the puppy up here on the step. The kitten over here on top. Oh, hold on. On top of the fireplace, which is really safe. <laughs> But they're all there now. Everybody fits into the little Christmas scene with all the presents and a teddy. And oh, this has been so much fun, this Lego Friends Advent Calendar this year. I have had a blast. What am I going to do tomorrow? I mean, well, we get to open up, you know, proper presents tomorrow. That's very exciting. But then, then we'll have all these days where you don't get to open a door every day. What will I do? I'll be bereft. No, I won't. I'll just go back to the real world. <laughs> Not every month can be December. <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a really, really wonderful holiday with your family. Oh, and I will see you back here. Yeah. After all the presents are open. I hope you get some Lego. <laughs> see you then. Bye.